Hi friends, today we are going to draw a butterfly. Now a butterfly is a very special insect that emerges from a cocoon. And the cocoon originally is a, any thoughts? Caterpillar, very good. So a caterpillar spins itself into a special chrysalis or cocoon and then when it's ready it matures into a butterfly now something very special about a butterfly is that they are symmetrical symmetrical is when you fold something in the middle and the right side and the left side are exactly the same so if you notice the two spots on the butterfly are the same the two lines on the butterfly are the same the two curves on the butterfly are the same so we are going to be creating a symmetrical butterfly. Start off first by finding the middle of your paper. So I think this looks like we're gonna hold our paper horizontal. Make sure your name, is on, name and class code are on the back. Turn your paper to the front and right in the middle here, we're gonna start about two fingers from the top by making a circle for the butterfly's head. Now we're going to work on the body of the butterfly. So this is what the caterpillar used to be. This body was the caterpillar and then it morphed into having these beautiful, lovely wings. So the rest of the body is two more sections. Caterpillars have lots of sections. So we're gonna start by making a curved section underneath that circle for the first set of wings and another curved section underneath for the second set of wings. Now, of course, you know, I always say, make the eyes however you like. So I'm going to put two eyes on my butterfly, circles with pupils. Maybe you'd like to put the eyelashes. Maybe you'd like to make the cute eyes with the highlights. So we're gonna start with the eyes. Next is those little things that curve on the top of their head. The caterpillar has them. They are called antenna. Yes. Two curved lines. One here and one here. Let me bring it closer so you can see. Okay. Next, we're going to make two sets of wings. So from where this circle ends and this line begins, we're going to make a big wing that ends where this section meets. We're going to try our best to do the same wing size on the other side, two wings. So these wings started where like our neck would be, where the circle line meet and the oval line meet. And then these two lines start where the bottom and middle sections start. Now this second set of wings, I'm gonna follow this line to the end and make a curve and just make sure it touches that bottom piece. So this line, from this line here, I already have it. I'm gonna make a curve and touch where that bottom part meets. Now you could decorate your wings however you like. What you do on this wing, you're going to do on this wing. So I'm gonna start on the bottom wings and do a curved line on the outside and a curved line on the outside. You do not have to follow and make your wings exactly the same as I'm doing, but you do have to make sure what you make on this side, you also make on this side. I'm gonna make some little curves like C's. And then I would have to do it opposite way this time, backwards. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna put a little circle in the middle. So I have to put a circle here. So what you do on this side, you have to do the same on this side. And we're gonna decorate the upper wing. So I like the way that this line looks if it continues like that. 
And then I do like those curved lines. So I'm gonna do those C's again. One, two, three, four. And connect here like this. Oh, that looks cute. Okay, so for the other side, I want it to be the same. So I'm gonna take it and, and turn it like this. One, two, three, four. And then where those lines curve in, I'm gonna make little diagonals. So that's my design. When your design is finished, I would like you to take your Sharpie Outline it. I'm going to fast forward mine a little bit. Once you are done outlining, now let's color. You can pick whatever colors you choose, but if you color this a certain way, you have to do the same on the other side. So if I color this space pink, You have to color this pa this space pink too. Now you do not have to color your spaces solid. Maybe you can color your spaces in with patterns or designs like stripes or polka dots or swirls or zigzags or hearts, um, dashed lines, curved lines, any way you like, you can decide to color it in. So let me speed it up a little bit. Okay, here is my finished butterfly. So you want to make sure that each side you create is the same. So if you made pink hearts on this side, pink hearts on this side, again, that word is symmetrical. Oh, look, she can fly. Enjoy making the butterfly.